The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Coral Springs High takes on Everglades High tonight on School Duel. and welcome to School Duel, where 24 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, tonight's game features Coral Springs versus Everglades High in what should be quite a showdown. Now, before we begin, let me tell you what these students are playing for. Well, first off, both teams will win beautiful trophies courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. For the runner-up school tonight, each player receives $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. And here today, we have Cosmo from Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you for being here, Cosmo. And last but not least, for the winners, well, each of these students will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. And look who's here today. The Chick-fil-A Cow. Thank you for being here. Yes, exciting times here today. All right, let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike, and in this round, it's school versus school. And each question is worth 10 points. Any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. So schools, prepare for the first strike. Your first question deals with government. Its members are assigned secret, unmarked offices in the U.S. Capitol building known as hideaways, and it shares its name with the governing body of the Roman Republic. Name this upper house of the U.S. Congress in which each state... Yes, Abdullah. Senate. Very good, and we are off. Art. Like a pencil, this object has a silver ferrule that connects its most important part to its handle. Identify this object whose bristles are used by artists to apply paint to a canvas. Freddie. Paintbrush. Yes, very good. <laughs> Literary creatures, in their first appearance, they always wear blue. And in later novels, one of them falls in love with the Tin Woodman. Identify the short-statued inhabitants of Oz. They are the munchkins. All right, let's move on to genetics. What genetic condition, which affects men more than women, has a type which is characterized by an inability to tell the difference between red and green? Abdullah? Color blindness. Very good. <laughs> Landmarks. Commissioned by the Emperor Shah Jahan after the death of his wife, Mumtaz, what marble mausoleum is the most famous landmark, Isabella? Taj Mahal. Very good. <laughs> Spelling. A prestigious university might organize its classes on a semester system. Spell the word semester. Yes, Isabella? S-E-M-E-S-T-E-R. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question, brought to you by Broward County Public Schools. Our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. When this cetacean jumps out of the water, it is called porpoising. Identify this aquatic mammal that is often Isabella? Dolphin. Yes, very good. Here's a little something about dolphins. They are highly intelligent social animals that have shown some evidence of self-awareness and consciousness. All right, abbreviations. Unlike initialism, like NRA and IRS, in which the letters are pronounced separately, what type of abbreviations are pronounced like words, as in NASA and SCUBA? They are called acronyms. All right, moving on to countries. What country that moved its government to its current capital in 1960 is the only South American nation with... Yes, Isabella? Brazil. Very good. <laughs> mythology. In Greek mythology, the goddess Aphrodite 
offered Paris what beautiful woman as his wife if Paris would award her the golden apple of Urus, an incident which sparked the Trojan War? Yes, Tyler? Helen. Very good. Oh, that horn means the end to the first strike round. We have Everglades leading. They have 70 points. Coral Springs has 10 points. And we will be right back with more School Duel after these messages. <laughs> My name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good every single time. You bite into that nugget, and it's just so crispy, but somehow juicy. That perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambry, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Duel, the first round of action ended with Everglades leading. They have 70 points. Coral Springs has 10 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hey, I'm Demir. I'm the team captain. I'm a senior and go Colts. Hi, my name's Ashleen. I'm a senior. Go Colts. My name's Tyler. I'm a senior and go Colts. My name's Katarina. I'm a senior. Go Colts. It's recording! It's, it's recording! Whoa. I don't know where we're going. Just practice, guys! <laughs> Horseshoes up! Go, Go Colts! My name's Abdullah. I'm a junior at Everglades High School and team captain. Go Gators! My name is Isabella, I'm a sophomore, and go Gators! Hi, I'm Freddie, I'm a freshman at Everglades High School, go Gators! Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm a junior at Everglades High School, go Gators! Go Gators! Gators. All right, who do you want to win? Uh, uh, I don't know really, like uh, Either, both sides. No, yeah, both, uh, yeah, no one, no one specifically, you don't, you don't got anyone, you want... Yeah. Gators! <laughs> There's nothing greater than being a Gator. Go Gators! All right, I like it. Let's hear it for both schools. And now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the Joust, which is presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points each. All right, schools. It is time to joust. Our first contestants are Demir and Abdullah. Come on down. Here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points. In what U.S. state would you find the Black Hills, the mountain range that contains Mount Rushmore? Yes, Abdullah. 
uh, South Dakota. Yes, very good. We are now with Everglades. You can go back with your school. The following bonus questions all deal with identifying U.S. states from their mountain ranges. Bonus question number one. What state contains the Boise Mountains, which share their name, Isabella? Idaho. Very good. <laughs> bonus question number two. In what state would you find the Aleutian Range, which just out, yes, Abdullah? Alaska. Very good. Your third bonus question. The Adirondack Mountains can be found in the upstate region of what state? Abdullah. N New York. Very good. All right, we got through all those questions. Our next two to joust, Ashleen and Isabella, come on down. Here's your toss of question, it's worth 10 points. What American children's song begins, there was a farmer who had a dog? Yes, Ashleen. E-I-A-U. Isabella? Bingo. Yes, very good, bingo. We are back with Everglades. The following bonus questions all deal with identifying children's songs from their lyrics. Bonus question number one. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, there goes, what title character? John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Next question, number two. Where are you if seldom is heard a discouraging word and the skies are not cloudy all day? Home on the range. Bonus question number three. What title question is followed by, can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Do you throw them over your shoulders like a continental soldier? That song is, do your ears Hang low. All right, my last two to joust. Tyler, Freddie, come on down. Here's your toss-up question. It's worth 10 points. As a member of the squirrel family, groundhogs belong to what order of mammals that also includes mice and rats? Yes, Tyler. Rodents. Very good. All right, we are now with Coral Springs. You may go back with your team. The following bonus questions all deal with groundhogs. Bonus question number one. Groundhogs survive the winter by doing this, just like bears do. Ashleen? Hibernating. Very good. <laughs> bonus question number two. Groundhogs are gifted diggers and live in underground tunnels called what? They're called burrows or dens. Your third bonus question. A particularly famous groundhog. Puxitani Phil is closely associated with a holiday that takes place on what date of the year? It's February 2nd, also known as Groundhog's Day. That buzzer means the end to the joust. We do have Everglades leading. They have 120 points. Coral Springs has 30 points, but we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, and go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now.
Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen-produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student-produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. School Duel, where local high schools match wits. Today's game has Coral Springs competing against Everglades High School. Currently, Everglades is leading. They have 120 points. Coral Springs has 30 points. All right, it's time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Since Coral Springs is trailing, they get to go first, while Everglades waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Today's category is, starts with F as in fox. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter F as in fox. Now each question is worth 10 points each, and remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So, here comes rapid action. Coral Springs, let's cue music and begin. The position of this question in this round or baseball's earliest base Tyler? First base. Type of story that often begins once upon a time. Tyler? Fable. Hyphenated term for a house that needs a lot of repairs. <laughs> Dystopian Ray Bradbury novel about book burning. Demir? Fahrenheit 451. Swashbuckling Olympic sport with foils, epées, and sabers. Tyler. Fencing. Husband of Queen Isabella of Castile. Tamir. Francis. A crime that is more serious than a misdemeanor. Tamir. Felony. The combining of atomic nuclei, it is the opposite of fission. Tamir. Fusion. Medieval European political system of lords and vassals. Tamir. Feudalism. A metric unit in poetry or 12 inches. Tamir. Foot. All right, good job, Coral Springs. We got through all of your questions. Let's hear it for Coral Springs High. And now with a little TV magic, let's bring in Everglades High. Welcome back, Everglades. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with F as in fox. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter F as in fox, and each question is worth 10 points. Now remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So, Everglades, let's cue music and begin. The position of this question in this round or baseball's earliest base. Isabella. First. Type of story that often begins once upon a time. Freddie. Fable. Hyphenated term for a house that needs a lot of repairs. Isabella. Fixer upper. Dystopian Ray Bradbury novel about book burning. Abdullah. Fahrenheit 451. Swashbuckling Olympic sport with foils, epées, and sabers. Isabella. Fencing. Husband of Queen Isabella of Castile. Abdullah. Oh, King Ferdinand. A crime that is more serious than a misdemeanor. Freddie. Felony. The combining of atomic nuclei, it is the opposite of fission. Abdullah. Fusion. Medieval European political system of lords and vassals. Abdullah. Feudalism. A metric unit in poetry or 12 inches. Abdullah. Foot. All right, good job, both teams. Everglades, good job. We got through all of your questions. And that ends the rapid action round. Currently, Everglades is still leading. They have 220 points. Coral Springs, 110 points. Let us take a short break, and then we will be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game.
Hey, my name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good. Every single time you bite into that nugget and it's just so crispy, but somehow juicy, that perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Hey, I'm Shan Bray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. a good game going as Everglades is holding on to their lead over Coral Springs. Our current scores, 220 points to 110 points. It is now time for the final showdown, and this is our last round. Schools go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time the questions are worth 20 points each. Now just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. This is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. <laughs> Your first question deals with the movie industry. The first film to receive this rating was Red Dawn in 1984. Identify this motion picture association rating that is in between the R and PG. Yes, Isabella. PG-13. Math. What does the C stand for in the mathematical mnemonic device Sokotoa? Abdullah. Cosine. Fast capitals. What is the capital of Russia? Abdullah. Moscow. The cell, rough endoplasmic reticulum, is distinguished from smooth because it is lined with what other organelles? Demir. Ribosomes. Music, what British rock band's hits Crazy Little Thing Called Love and Bohemian Rhapsody were, yes, Isabella? Queen. Aviation history, during what war were airplanes first used to scout enemy, Isabella? World War II. Incorrect, Coral Springs, yes, Demir? World War I. Adaptations. What Walter Tevis novel that was adapted into a Netflix miniseries about chess prodigy Beth Yesdemir? Uh, Queen's Gambit. U.S. history. Who, upon signing the Declaration of Independence, said this? There, I guess King George will be able to read that. Abdullah. John Hancock. Constellations. Part of the constellation Ursa Minor, what small constellation contains the North Star as the end of its handle? Demir. Ursa Major. Incorrect, Everglades. Orion. Orion. Incorrect, it's little, little Dipper. Water, how many atoms are in 10 molecules of water? Abdullah. 30. The alphabet, what is the 12th letter of the alphabet? Abdullah. J. Coral Springs. Samir. I. It's L. Short stories. What continent is the setting for Ernest Hemingway's story, The Snows of Kilimanjaro? Abdullah. Africa. Movie trivia. What is the name of the only dwarf lacking a beard in the Walt Disney animated Snow White? Freddy. Dopey. Broadway. What Broadway legend wrote the music to Sunday in the Park with George and the lyrics to West Side Story? His name is Steven Sodheim. Mountains. Mount Everest is located in what mountain range? Abdullah. The Himalayas. Golf. What golf club is designed to roll a ball on the green into the hole and is typically the only club used in miniature? Yes, Abdullah. Putter. 
the New Testament. According to the Gospel of Mark, what figure survived by eating locusts and wild honey before he ritually submerged Jesus in the River Jordan? Is Demir? Judah? Incorrect. Everglades? Ready? Cain. Incorrect. It's John the Baptist. Multiple meanings. What five letter word can mean force conscription of troops, a current of air, or, yes, Abdullah? Draft. Fast math. Convert the fraction seven over 50 to a percentage. Demir. 14%. Assassinations. In 1948, Mahatma Gandhi was assassinated in what country? Isabella. India. Gulfs. Immediately east of the Gulf of St. Lawrence is what ocean? Abdullah. The Atlantic. Metals. What is the general term for any combination of at least two elements that includes at least one metal? Yes, Abdullah? Alloy. Quadrilaterals. Oh, that sound brings an end to this school duel game as Everglades has held on to their lead, beating Coral Springs. The ending score is 500 points to 190. Congratulations, Everglades. You each have won Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. And of course, great job to everyone here today. So let's hear it for both schools. Now at this time, we'd like to thank our sponsors for making School Duel possible, and of course, you at home for watching. Now, don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved, and you can also watch past shows. And please remember to use the hashtag SchoolDuel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Blanche Ely High takes on Plantation High in what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.